Welcome back! This is day 69 until the release of Shadow of War, made by Monolith. That is Middle Earth Shadow of War sequel, Shadow of Mordor, Shadow of Mordor 2, whatever you want to call it. And this is bringing to you today daily gameplay as a countdown in anticipation of the awesome game. Now, as Every episode starts, we're going to go ahead and start off with a little bit of tips, a little bit of Easter egg, a little bit of what might be and what is confirmed to be in Shadow of War, and that is a, a back on the topic of orcs and their different classes. Here's another class last week, we re or yesterday, we, re we reviewed the, the Destroyer. Hopefully you left some comments below and some interaction. Love to hear your comments on this one, the Commander. The Commander emboldens those who fight alongside of him. Enabling them to unleash their full bloodlust. Now, that sounds pretty sick. In addition to that ability is these other abilities. War banners. Call reinforcements. Dying command. Now, leave a comment below what you think each of those are correlating to. Please do. We'd love to learn from your comments and what you suspect those to be. What could it be to have a war banner? Perhaps it has to do with when you go and siege on the rather huge, awesome um, encampments and, and, and huge Helm's Deep-sized castles we're going to see in Shadow of War. Call reinforcements. Now, that, that sounds like a really, really difficult thing to come over. I always hate it when there's tons of Uryx trying to kill him. Call reinforcements as a commander. That, that's awesome. Dying command. Perhaps it could be when you kill him, something bad happens. Like... They all go berserko on you or or commit kamikaze. Who knows? Leave your comment below what you suspect that to be. And without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. So before we do so, I do have the DLC and I wanted to change our skin today to be Lord of the Hunt. Lord of the Hunt. And each time maybe we'll go ahead and change the skin. And if I like it, I'll stay with one. Leave a comment below of what you want me to change the skin to. We have old good old Italian, uh, the power of shadow, which is rather awesome armor. Lord of the Hunt, we saw that. The Bright Lord, nice skin indeed. And he doesn't look so dead. We have the lady. We will later find out who she is. The Captain of the Watch. Very sweet, but the most awesome, I think, is the Dark Ranger. Many of you probably would like that one. Italian's looking pretty sweet. This time we're going to go with the good old B.O., Lord of the Hunt, Man Musky Smell. All right, here we go without further ado. Father, I am with child. Italian's child. I was offered a post commanding the Black Gate. I intended to refuse. I shall find you first. Thank you, Hollis. This is not for you. I do this. Well, if you recall from yesterday, if you watched that, go back and watch if you haven't. The beginning of Shadow of Mordor content started yesterday, and we'll be in a playlist, so check it out if you haven't. Um, go ahead and add me to that playlist, if you would, because we're going to, again, bringing you daily content of Shadow of Mordor in anticipation, in excited anticipation of the heavily anticipated and decapitated, because there's lots of decapitations. Oh, look out. Bad dudes. Of the Eric's heads. Anyways, do check out the playlist. Do add it to your playlist of watch with lists and stuff and things. Go ahead and share and do all that awesome stuff if you enjoyed the series so far. And if you're just joining us for the first time today as a new viewer, stick around. It's going to be awesome. So we're going to go ahead and continue each of the story modes as fast as we can. Because there's a few orcs here and there and everywhere. And uh, in doing so, we're going to try to progress through the story as really as fast as we can. And as we have it here, we're looking for a slaver named... Oh, I forget his name, but it just says he's an Uruk. All right, so let's go find him. Well, this doesn't bode well. Don't you see? The prisoner created a distraction. And he's so cold. That dude's getting his brains beaten out, and he's all like, "Yeah, he served his purpose." To track the Uruk, I see more than any mortal. 
Here's our first glimpse of the, maybe second glimpse now, of the uh, Lord of the Hunt. Looks like he's got some sweet dreadlocks going on. Let's identify some targets. Slay the orc captain. Cut off the head of the snake, and the body will wither. Archers. I must take out the eyes of the camp. So in each objective, we always have a bonus objective, and which this I probably would advise doing anyway, and that is the killing of the archers. Woo, we almost got suspected there. They kind of even suspected us there for a moment. Did you notice that? All right, that dude is, uh, I don't know, massaging his forearms, waiting for him to turn. There we go. Uh-oh. Got his attention. That's not good. No, no, dang it. I, I was stealthing. I was stealthing. Why? Oh, my goodness. All right, ability point gained. All right, so someone's kind of on my trail. No problemo, because what we're going to do is going to spy through a little peephole. I'm going to see if I can't sneak around do a little bit of um sniper action here. Nailed him this time. No, I have not been practicing. Ha! <laughs> this is fantastic. Let's unlock an ability. All right, so at each level we get an XP, and the execution is definitely one I would think would be excellent to have. Impact, no. Strike from above, nah. Time landings, no. Shoot fire and barrels, cause them to explode. Very cool, but no. And riding caragos. So, yeah, definitely this is going to be the most useful right at this moment. And let us use it, put it to good use. Oh, here's another archer. Stealth kill. We've got three eliminated of the total of four. There's another. Let's see if we can't archer and archer. There we go. All right, so we got four eliminated. Now let's just locate. There's our baddie. Let's see if we can't. Yes, he's dead. See if we can't kill some of his friends. See those slaves? They tried to get away, and now they will. Oh, well, what are you doing, Talion? What are you doing? Go, go, be your bad self and make some kills happen. If we can do a stealth kill, that'd be awesome. Oh no. He's invulnerable. No, maybe not entirely. Maybe not entirely. That took out half his health. That was a smooth move. You would make a strong slave. Oh, thanks. You speak so highly of me. As a, as a slave? Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Executionary. All right. And he's already got his health down. Hey, you catch him. I'll jump over you. And it'd be great if I could just um, grab this dude and uh, interrogate. Don't know. No, you messed me up, you fool. Okay, so let's kind of see if we can't get some arrow shots off on these guys. That would be nice. Stop jumping over him like a pansy. I'm I'm just a little weary because oh, ooh, that was close. I don't have many abilities, and uh, I miss it. I really do. Um, here's some, yeah, elf shot. That's what I was needing. All right, so are they going to come up here? Yes, they is. Okay, that was a couple down. Okay, uh, let's do a little flip, flip action. I saw that coming. I just want to get the boss. Execution. There we go. That was it. Okay, so I made it way harder than it needed to be. Sorry, ladies and gents. Okay. You run and hide. That's right. You run and hide, you fools. Hey, come back. Can I get? You? Can I suck your power? That sounds kind of sick, actually. That. Can I just grab you by the gullet? How about... No, that sounds even worse. <laughs> okay. All right, shank him. All right, thanks for your juice. Okay, sorry. Just moving on. Let's go back and grab this thing over here. Um, so many gay comments. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, dead captains. They drop runes. Let's get back to manliness. Okay. I am married, just so everybody knows for the record. 
All right, so what's really nice is um, each of these blades have um, uh, runes you can attach to them, and we've already been started off with some because of the DLC. Immune to poisons, wonderful. Recover all focus for killing War Captain Chief, dude. Stealth kill and ground executions cause extra damage to War Chiefs, but I'm going to go with immune to poison for now until we can unlock some more. And as such, we do have the dagger, the bow, and the sword. So that was the dagger. 20% critical hit. Combat finishers do extra damage against captains. That's pretty good. Ooh, uh, grants the epic, the ability of storm. That might be nice. 50 chance to reduce melee. Never surrender. Gives me additional last chance. I'm going to go with this one. Because that's going to be great. Um, I think it's enabled. Maybe I have to unlock the ability. I'm not sure. And... Focus depletion rate by 50%. That's really nice. Let's go with that. So now we do have quite a few excellent abilities. Runes, I should say, attached. And here's a cutscene. So you didn't die 10 years ago. I take it you did not come here to arrest me for treason, Captain. You and I are all that remains of that garrison, Hugo. Then why did you come here? Looking for a slave that fought the Black Hand of Sauron. <laughs> More like ran away from him. You know this man? Of course. You're staring at him. What, the pitiful dude at the pole? Where are the servants of the Dark Lord? Do you even know? <laughs> Oh, the dude with the dreadlocks. Okay. No time to keep secrets. I have been stuck here. I mean, braided hair. Sorry. Come to the outcast camp. We shall ask my scouts. I'll be there. Man, who doesn't know about the infamous golem? Well, we're gonna find out, which is pretty awesome. Golems in uh, in Shadow of Mordor. Strike from above is always great. Elven sweetness, sweetness, elven fitness plan. I think I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that sucker. Upgrades, okay. Appendices. So there's the outcast of Undun. The outcasts are descendants of the escaped Gondorian prisoners. Their forefathers built the Towers of Teeth. Now, <laughs> there you go. On the Black Gate many centuries ago, their escape into the Undun allowed them to create new lives for themselves. Way to go, guys. Your band of merry men. Even if the land was harsh and unforgiving, they were free. Now Sar Sauron and the Uryx have returned, and there is no freedom to be found within the land of shadow. So we're going to help remedy that, shall we? And I don't plan to do a lot of lore explaining, unless if you all want it to be so. Maybe we can go over the lore in the end, but here's a nice little thing. A photo mode, so we can always take those selfies. Photo mode is something that I didn't even know about, actually. It can now be toggled on and off in the option game setting mode. Photo mode allows you to pause the game, take a shot of action, manipulate the camera, and apply filters and more. Very sweet. Now, moving on. My apologies. Uh, but I believe what we're going to have to do is go ahead and end this episode as it has come to an end for this day 69 of Shadow of Mordor in anticipation of Shadow of War. Hope you've been enjoying it, and if you like the series so far, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more, check out the playlist in the description below. Be sure to add that playlist to your watch series because I'm bringing you daily content of Shadow of Mordor in anticipation of Shadow of War. Again, with each day, a new tip, a new Easter egg, a new little tidbit about Shadow of War. As you remember in this past one, what is it about the commander? Leave your comments below of your suspicion. Go back to the video if you do not remember those. And leave a comment below for some awesome interaction. Thank you so much for watching. This is Hero87, your host. Signing off. Up, up, and away! Later, sidekicks! But they did a right number on Stakuga!